Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, to another Kingdom Hearts video. Holy shit. Um, I didn't think that Kingdom Hearts would have any news for a while, so I wasn't really worried. So, I was asleep last night. And I was asleep last night? No. I was asleep like a couple minutes ago, and I was just having trouble sleeping. So I was like, I'm going to check my Twitter and my emails. I did that, and lo and behold, Square Enix and Tatsuya Nomura unleashed a uh, fucking extended version of the Big Hero 6 trailer. So, I have not seen this trailer yet. I'm going to assume, since, it's, since this is an extended version, I'm going to assume that there's something important in it. Or, if it's not important at all, this video will not be uploaded, and who cares? But, hey. I'm just gonna fucking start the video. I am i don't know what to expect going into here, but, well, before we start, let me just say. If anyone has any problems with my criticisms towards Kingdom Hearts, just let it be known that I'm not the de facto person to judge all all things that other people like right so when i say the story shit and they can't save it at all with it making a bunch of sense or like let's be honest the story doesn't make sense at this point who cares just throw a bunch of random shit in there some of the random shit we'll be excited about some of the random shit we won't but at this point in time just fucking i <laughs> i don't know what to expect anymore i really don't so let's get started my glasses hit the microphone let's get started hopefully Kingdom hearts hopefully there's something important here by the way i'm on my ps4 again because i'm too lazy light expires Okay. Prepare to face Keyblade Hero 3. Shut the fuck up, Sora. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, Sora. So I'm guessing that guy's a boss. I guess I was right. Okay. I guess that's the limit break with uh, Baymax. I'm still confused as to how the day-night transition is going to work if uh, if they're getting rid of loading screens and stuff like that. Okay, so you fly around with Baymax, master hands in the game for some reason. Oh, fuck no. I'm so tired of minigames. God damn it. <laughs> My brother wanted to help people. He's still there in Baymax. They're eating fucking ice cream. What the hell is wrong with you, Sora? Why was your eyes like yellow? What? What was that? What the fuck was that? You don't belong to the darkness no more, Riku, because you can protect things that matter. Look at that smartphone. And look, it's Zexion. That's cool. Don't touch that. That's a Heartless. Oh shit, Davy Jones is here. Shut the fuck up, Elsa. I'm tired of you. Shut the fuck up. I'm tired of Frozen and shit. This will guide me, so he'll probably go wake up, uh, Vin. Oh shit, what? Wait, what? Okay. Oh shit, they're fighting Davy Jones. Wow, they're going real hard with like the different different play styles it seems. Well at least different instances. Oh my god, fucking Is he teaming up with Marshmallow? What the hell? Alright, Ansem looks better than before. Why is Vexen evil? 
お前がリクならなおさらなぜこんなことするんだよ俺たちはいつも競い合って Oh, it's replica fucking Riku Okay I thought that was Shion 閉じ込められた存在の悲しみをお前たちにも分けてやろう我らキーブレード使いの運命を刻みし場所 What the hell is going on here? Okay, Aqua's not. What? Is that Roxas? <laughs> What the fuck just happened? Okay. Wait, anything after? No? Okay, well. Huh. That showed way more than just Big Hero 6. <laughs> It really didn't show Big Hero 6 at all. Oh my fucking god. What the hell? That was a lot. That was a lot of information to go through. So we're we're gonna have to go through this bit by bit. Let's fucking go back to the beginning. He's like, blah blah blah. Light expires. Come on, don't do this loading shit to me right now, YouTube. I just don't. Come on, man. I'm not in the mood. Uh. Let me see. So. Let me just. I'm gonna assume. Let me just do that. So it looks better. I'm gonna assume this guy right here is a fucking. is a boss because he's in a cutscene. So I guess my assumptions at first was right. I, this might be the boss or Big Hero 6 or mid boss or something like that. Um. There's everybody. There's something I want to remark here. Let me just shut up for like two seconds and listen to the music for Big Hero 6. Okay, so when it comes to the music, I'm gonna assume this is the music for Big Hero 6, but when it comes to the music for Big Hero 6, To me, it sounds a lot like the music that they use for Tron Legacy and Dream Drop Distance. Let me, uh, I'm probably gonna put it in, I'm gonna like edit it in post or whatever, but I'm gonna play a sample of the music from, uh, from, from, uh, Tron Legacy and Dream Drop Distance. I'm gonna play it right here so you guys can hear the comparison. And now let's listen to the music from Big Hero 6 again. They sound alike. They, they sound very, very similar to me. So that's kind of, uh, that's kind of eh, or maybe Tron, maybe in Kingdom Hearts 3? Which would make sense because the Tron Legacy world in Dream Drop Distance left off on a cliffhanger with, uh, With, uh, what's his name? Fucking Rensler still being Tron and Sora trying to save him. So I'm not sure. This may not be the music for Big Hero 6, but if it's not, then it's pretty fucking weird for them to put it here in the Big Hero 6 trailer. Alright, so now that I said that, I want to go a little further. Fucking Master Hands here. I guess they're fighting the villain. Of Big Hero 6, this would make sense, or maybe the Kingdom Hearts took over the nano machines or nanobots. Alright, when it comes to mini games in Kingdom Hearts, let's talk about this for a second. There is, in my opinion, there is no good mini game in Kingdom Hearts whatsoever. I know a lot of people complain about the Atlantica world in Kingdom Hearts 2, that's 100% optional, that you don't even have to touch at all. But nobody ever complains about the Winnie the Pooh world that they rip you out of. They rip you out of the story in every Kingdom Hearts game and put you in a goddamn Winnie the Pooh world or tell you about the fucking. The command board or whatever the fuck. It, like, I'm so tired of Winnie the Pooh. I don't want to see him in this fucking game. With that said, mini game, like, I don't. 
hate the mini games. I just hate the fucking Jiminy Journal missions that come with the mini games, and I understand that's optional too. But for people like me who want to platinum Kingdom Hearts games or you know get all the gamer score because this is going to be on Xbox, it's going to be a pain in the ass with these fucking mini games. I like the mini games have never been crazy levels of hard, but they surely have been fucking annoying. So I. If they're going to put mini games in here, please, for the love of God, ease up on the Jiminy Journal. Just fucking, I don't want to deal with it. I don't want to deal with it. I don't want to deal with it. I don't think no one else wants to deal with it. I don't think nobody wants to deal with the gummy ship missions either. Just ease up on the Jiminy Journal. Let people get their 100%. Just fucking give them a break. Give them a fucking break. Look at all the goddamn trophies for fucking, for Kingdom Hearts. One to fucking chain of memories to goddamn two. Two wasn't really that bad. Two wasn't that bad of of getting like trophies and shit. I guess the mushroom thirteen were getting were probably annoying. But when it comes to getting the trophies in Kingdom Hearts and the fucking Jiminy Journal, you already have the secret bosses and shit to tie you over and make you want to fucking slam your head into a goddamn wall. So just fucking just just come on, just ease up on the whole mini game shit. I don't want to deal with the mini games. I don't think anyone else wants to deal with the fucking mini games. Time for serious story mode. So they're sitting here eating ice cream, probably not sea salt, probably like grape flavor. I'm gonna assume this is just the lighting. Hit it, the 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 lighting hitting Sora's eyes. Because what the fuck? Why is his eyes yellow? That's kind of weird. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna assume it's the lighting. I'm really going to assume it's the lighting from the sunset hitting his eyes because he has blue eyes. Because then they're blue. And then he changes to Roxas for a moment and remembers hanging out with Hainer, Pence, and Olette. That's cool. He flips out. Roxas is coming back. We all know it. Uh, Mickey says what he said in Kingdom Hearts 2 you don't belong to the darkness no more, so whatever. Okay, so I'm going to assume that Sora and his friends and everybody, because of Axel, now are teaming up with the research guys in, in Radiant Garden via, like, Zexel and all of them. But here's my question. In Dream Drop Distance, I think the only people that we haven't seen come back was Marluxia, Demix, and Larxene. We now know where Larxene, Demix, and Marluxia are. My question is, what the hell happened? Vexen was one of the good guys. He was. He came back to the research uh, to the research center with them. I call it a research center, but it's you know it's Ansem's like research lab or whatever the fuck. They went back there with with him, uh, with them. So I. How is Vexen evil unless unless when nobody was looking in this game, they walked up in there and said, Hey, guess what? Vexen, you're evil now. Which also doesn't make sense because in Kingdom Hearts Dream Drop Distance, Xehanort literally says, Oh, everyone in Organization 13, maybe not everyone, but he said most of them were actually very fucking like useless, so I don't want them as my 13 darknesses. So why would you take Vexen out of all people? He's pretty fucking useless. <laughs> like, I'm not gonna lie. Unless you needed him to bring back, like, another replica of Riku or something like that. I don't know. It's fucking weird to me. Here's Tangled again. Rapunzel's just messing with the Heartless. Davy Jones, looking great. Looking fantastic with your fucking things. Jack Sparrow, fix your face a little bit. <laughs> Elsa talking about her bitch ass sister. I don't care. I'm tired of Frozen. Tangle is a better movie. What's this doing here? May your heart be guided by the key. This will guide me then. Alright, so that's probably. Because Aqua is now a darkness, that's probably why the, the um, Master Keyblade is now. I don't think it's called Master Keyblade, but you know what, what I mean. It's Master Erica's Keyblade for Keyblade Masters. Fucking, it's probably why it's sent to Sora. 
it probably came to Sora because it's like, we need another Keyblade Master now because Riku's already a Keyblade Master. Mickey's a Keyblade Master. Fucking um, Kyrie and Axel are in training. And all the other Keyblade Masters are fucked besides Yen Sid, I guess. Yen Sid, we don't know if Yen Sid has a Keyblade or not. I assume he does because he's teaching people, but he never really does anything. Um, so I'm guessing that Keyblade said we need another Keyblade Master. We need more help on the light side. Here you go, Sora. I will guide you to your next objective. Fucking, I will open up a path like I do in Kingdom Hearts 2. Bam, let's go to the World of Departure where where Ventanitas will probably be waiting Sora, waiting for Sora, and he has Vin there because I assume he found Vin, you know, in a Castle Oblivion and stuff like that. <laughs> Fucking talking about Dead Man's Chest. Sora's like, haha, it's not like you guys have your 13 and Larxene's like, motherfucker, we do. So, holy shit. Which I'm gonna assume that's another lie that Larxene loves to tell because Larxene loves to tell lies. Here, Hainer, Pence, and Alette, they're like, alright, let's head to the other version of Twilight Town and maybe we can find Roxas. Right? Which is gonna be interesting. I'm sorry, I, I paused right there because I wanted to see. I just really. This is just my own curiosity. I wanted to see Hainer's shirt. Uh, was it Hainer? No, no, I want to see uh, Pence's shirt. My bad, I'm sorry. They all have new designs. Why are they all wearing. What the hell? Why are they all matching with Sora? Now that I look at it, the, they're all rocking fucking red and black. Huh. Dog Street. Is that another reference to something? Because I know before he had a reference to uh, the bouncer. Huh. Dog Street. Let me. I don't know what that is. Maybe fucking Hainer's skull is a reference to something else, but whatever. Alright. I don't know what boat they're on. I haven't watched any of the new uh, Pirates movies, so maybe they're on the Black Pearl. But the Black Pearl, last time I checked, didn't have fucking red and black sails. So I don't know what boat this is. It might be the Black Pearl. Who knows? Or they're fighting the Black Pearl. Or they're fighting the Black Pearl. Because the other ship has holes in its sail. So did Jack Sparrow lose the fucking Black Pearl again? So he summoned Tentacles, Selfie Mode. I guess this is the Frozen boss. Because Marshmallow's on your team. I assume the giant, like, you know, snow, snow monster that Elsa makes. I assume his... I'm pretty sure his name is Marshmallow. I think she says that in the movie. Marshmallow's on your team here, but I, I'm going to assume that this is only for a boss fight because he's way too fucking big. But that's cool. You team up with Marshmallow. I assume whatever Heartless you're fighting tries to do like a spirit bomb or whatever, and Sora's. Sora fucking is doing his Azura's Wrath shit and just fucking destroying it or whatever. Ansem looks looks better. Now Ansem says, hey, if he wavers from the path we laid out for him, we're going to destroy him. Then Zigbar would comment like, well, then we got to find another vessel. So I assume earlier when Larxene said, oh, we got all our 13 vessels. I assume that's a lie. And either they're going after Sora or they're waiting for Sora to find Vin and going after Vin. At that point, they would have fucking Vin, Terra, and Aqua on their side. What the hell? I'm going to assume that at some point in the game, Vexen goes missing, and they're like, what happened? They probably took Vexen off to the side and said, hey, what's up, motherfucker, stabby, stabby. Fucking, you're evil now, right? They have the mix with them. Why would they make the, the mix a 13 darkness we don't see demix's face throughout this whole entire trailer actually i think we do i think we might actually see demix's face scratch that so i'm gonna pause when we see demix's face but i'm not sure if he's a xehanort or not he may just be like kind of a kind of like their side thought i don't know fucking 
I don't know, but why would you choose Demex? He's like a coward. Unless he gotten stronger or something. I thought this was Xion, and I assume everyone else thought it was Xion because as I was uploading it, I saw a fucking video that's like, I didn't see the video, but I saw a thumbnail for a video that's like, this is Xion. I completely fucking forgot. I forgot in the goddamn last trailer that we saw, not the not the short Big Hero 6 one, the last one I did a fucking, um, the Monster Inc. one, I think that was the one. I forgot that in that trailer, we saw, um, Riku just, <coughs> God damn it! sorry about that. We saw Riku just on Destiny Island laying with, uh, just chilling out with Replica Riku. So I'm gonna assume they make a Replica Riku, or they, because they need Vexen to do it or something like that, make another mannequin. I assume that they did that. And in the fight, when Riku's fighting him, he's all like, Hey man, remember the shit at Castle Oblivion? Maybe, maybe not. Um, I assume when Riku's gonna be the one to fight him and be like, Hey man, you ain't gotta be evil or whatever, right? And that's why they're on Destiny Island, because maybe they're inside the heart or whatever the fuck, I don't know. I thought that was Shion. This seems to be happening in the Big Hero 6 world. I thought this took place in either the the world that never was or the um or the gates in front of the gates to um to a beast castle. I thought that's what this was taking place in. Completely wrong, I guess. I don't know where the hell they at, but it's Riku. This is where this might happen. After this, my no, I assume my my first assumption. Now that I'm trying, now I'm kind of rethinking myself. My first assumption was that Sora finds the master key, guides him to the land of departure. Let's go wake up Ventus, right? Either, either that happens early in game, and something happens later, and then you go to the Monster Inc.'s world. Or maybe, for some reason, Vanitas is just changing his clothes because he fucking feels like it. I don't know. But, but I, I assume that what was going to happen. I can't speak. I assume that is what's going to happen. But now that I see Ventanitas not wearing his fucking Organization 13 robes or whatever, fucking, maybe, maybe this is something that happens way earlier in the story or something like that. I'm not sure. But okay, then we see Aqua talking about how her life sucks. Yeah, I know. They're in the Keyblade graveyard. So I don't know if this is a flashback or at some point in the game you take control of Aqua and you have to fight. You have to fight off um either Terra Xehanort or just Ansem. And this is how she becomes a darkness. I'm not sure. And if somehow, if somehow, okay. Okay, I guess, yeah, they beat her and then she becomes a darkness. I didn't see Aqua on the ground there before. Holy shit. All right. So, hmm. So I assume they're both after, well, they get Aqua. At some point early in the game, I assume they're also after Vin at this point. Because, you know, if Vin and Vinton need to fuse together, they become the Keyblade again, blah, 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 whatever. Um, shit, this is all really confusing. Either they're after Sora or they're after Vin. Or maybe they're after Roxas, who knows? Because after all this shit... It seems that Sora helps Aqua, then Sora goes to help Vin. Uh, Sora and Kairi hanging out. I'm not sure what the hell that is. Axel's crying, so I'm gonna assume after Sora goes to help Vin, something happens and Roxas becomes the fucking becomes the thirteenth darkness because they couldn't get Sora or Vin, so they probably go after Roxas. 
I don't fucking know. I sound like, I'm like trying to make sense of all this shit myself. But holy shit. Uh Kingdom Hearts, you um you definitely uh you definitely know how to confuse the shit out of people. I'm not sure. I'm doubting myself like forever and I always will. Let me see if I can get the shot. The perfect shot. No. I don't want that shot. I want to see Roxas. I want to see Roxas, man. Why are you being like this? Why are you being like this, YouTube? Why you gotta be like this? There we go. So, I assume since they can't get Sora or Ven, they probably go after Roxas. He has the Oblivion Keyblade. Um... What is this world that he is in? Agraba? Maybe? I'm not sure. Either that or it's Olympus Coliseum or something like that. I'm not sure. Or maybe he's in the Tangled world. Who knows? But I guess that's all I got for fucking looking at this goddamn trailer. Another thing that's interesting is that also with the reveal of this trailer this extended trailer they also put out the box art for the damn for the damn uh, game or whatever so let's talk about that real quick i'm gonna fucking fade into the box art now or whatever video fucking effects i do i don't know and i'm looking at the box art here and fucking uh it's I mm, I like the background a lot, but just looking at all the characters, god damn it, just looking at all the characters, it's so fucking confusing. You have fucking, like, you got two characters that essentially are the fucking same character, Ventus and Roxas. I know they're not the same character, but you know what I mean. Fucking anyone, like, especially for the Xbox crowd, if you never played a Kingdom Hearts game, you go to the store and pick this shit up, you see that, you're like, who the fuck, why the fuck, are they twins, right? Um, so, let's see, you got Sora in his, in his fucking kingdom key, you got Kyrie in her key of destiny, I think it's called, uh, you have Riku, he is not rocking a keyblade, because I believe he has a new keyblade now, Mickey in his dark side kingdom key, uh, Donald Goofy hanging out, now, you also have, this is interesting, because we haven't seen her at all in this game yet, but we all know she has some sort of story, relevancy so you see axel roxas and Shion. so that's cool right that's really cool you also have nominee just chilling there too which is interesting because i'm trying to remember if we see nominee in any of the trailers at all i think we might have seen a glimpse of nominee at some point i'm not sure but maybe maybe i'm just talking out my ass and then you have Aqua, Terra, and Ventus. Now, <laughs> after looking at this box art, there is something that, that I, you know, I have uh, noticed, which is really weird. It's that, it's that fucking Sora, Kairi, Riku, Ventus, Aqua, Terra, Shion, and Roxas, and Namine, they all have blue eyes. They all have blue eyes. I don't know. I swear to God, if fucking uh, Axel has green eyes, if I remember correctly, um, maybe Axel doesn't have green. Does Axel have green eyes? Let me let me zoom into that. I think he does. I'm pretty sure he has green eyes. Um, so I I'm going to assume that that's just all a coincidence and that has nothing to do with anything. But. <laughs> Tetsuya Nomura, you motherfucker, I swear to God, if I fucking play this game, and if the fact that all these motherfuckers have blue eyes, fucking, kind of like, does some weird shit, because all the Xehanorts have yellow eyes, or whatever, I, like, the blue eyes are actually connected to all the Xehanort Keyblades that have the blue eye inside of it, or whatever, you know, like, that shit, Fucking, I, listen, if I run into that shit, Tetsuya Nomura, 
you can go fuck yourself. Like, real talk. I'm so tired of this goddamn Five Nights at Freddy's bullshit. Follow the fucking eyes. Fucking this person got norted. Fuck, I'm so tired. Norted is like such the... It's such a bad term. It's so terrible. It sounds so fucking dumb. Uh, Fuck. <laughs> When I saw that fucking thumbnail for that goddamn video, it said Shion got norted. I was like, "What? Ew, that's gross. Don't, don't talk to me." Um, that's fuck. Norted is such a bad fucking term. It's so gross. I fucking hate it. And people are just eating it up. They're just eating it up. Fucking, you got norted. Oh my god, shut the fuck up. <laughs> like what the hell? All right, but you know, besides like all the characters, like. Maybe it's because I know the story or whatever, you know, quote unquote, know the story. Nobody really knows the story of Kingdom Hearts because it's all convoluted and shit and has so many plot holes. Um, but yeah, all the characters makes the uh, box art to me personally. Like I look at it and I think it's a it's a good piece of box art. I'm not going to lie. It is a good piece of box art, but all the characters just scream story relevancy fucking if you haven't seen the story you're gonna be confused as fuck you know like <laughs> fuck this is, oh my god there's so many characters on this goddamn box art there's fucking let, let me actually count them one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen there are 13 characters uh, probably to symbol you know uh, i don't know 13 darknesses or whatever whoever cares i none of them are the darknesses besides roxas maybe um, but there's 13 characters, but they're all the good characters, and, ah, uh, god damn it, maybe 13 here is just a coincidence in the box art, because I don't think Namine is gonna be a fucking protector of the light or whatever, you know, Axel, yeah, probably, <laughs> but, um, it's a good piece of box art, what I'm also scared of is that when the inevitable steelbook cover of the game is going to come out hopefully they incorporate this box art in the fucking steelbook of the goddamn case or whatever for this game because they probably won't they probably won't and it'll probably just be a big fat kingdom hearts 3 logo like it's fucking like it's goddamn marvel versus capcom infinite or whatever like like when you, when you have a steel when you have a steel box just just use the box art guys just use the box art or fucking final fantasy 15 it or goddamn do what persona 5 did you know just make it make it look important don't just put like a fat logo on it like the goddamn spider-man game that <laughs> that sucks that fucking really sucks um because i do like steel boxes i really do personally but that, i think that's it I think that's really all I have right now for Kingdom Hearts 3 in terms of uh, my way of thinking. Actually, you know what? There's one more thing that I wanted to say. But now that I've actually like slowed down and went through the trailer, before I didn't see Aqua laying on the ground in front of Ventanitas. So when I saw her fighting and when I was like, where the fuck did Vexen come from and all that shit? For a second, I thought they were going to start introducing different like parallel universes or something like that and they're like we went to a different universe and got this person or whatever but hopefully Tetsuya Nomura stays away from that shit he probably will because now that I actually seen you know Aqua laying on the ground in front of Ventanita showing that she has lost uh her fight or whatever I feel I feel way more safer about that not being a possibility at all so I'm just going to disregard that one because it made no fucking sense to me. I was like, where the fuck are all these people coming from? Fucking. I thought that we actually do see Demix. Demix is his face in this whole entire trailer. I guess I was wrong. I thought like around here we would see it. Oh wait, no, that is Demix. Hold up, go back. That is Demix. So let me just, let me just verify that. I want to verify that. I just want to see if... Mixus's eyes are yellow or not. So she fights. You know, action her training. Okay, so there's the mix. Open your eyes, you son of a bitch. Okay, so. Alright, I guess Zexion becomes evil too because either that. I assume that's Luke Sword up there 
or you know Ansem the Wise or whoever but let me just go back and I just really want to get a clear cut picture I'm going to assume oh you know what this is probably him coming back with Vexen being like hey guys we got Vexen he's now part of us you're coming with us too Zexion or something like that or you're going to help us Zexion and maybe that's why Zexion calls Sora and goes like hey come over here so they can ambush you or whatever I don't know yeah but that's the mix I don't know who the fuck that is I'm gonna assume it's Luke Sword but it may not be it might be Ansem the Wise because that 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 blonde is too bright it's too bright too bright of a blonde you know there's Terra they're in the line of departure hmm or maybe that's how they got Aqua you know what maybe that's how they got Aqua Vanita showed up in the realm of darkness said hey I got Ventus she went there to fight him or something like that and then she lost right something like that that would probably make more sense. That would probably make more sense why she's in the land of departure and they're turning her into a fucking another Xehanort. And she's getting Norted, right? Um, <laughs> fucking Norted, it's so bad. But, uh, yeah. Axel's probably crying because he failed to save his friend Roxas and now he's now he has to go and fight Roxas yet again. You know, I love Axel. Axel's like probably my favorite Kingdom Hearts character. He just does everything for his friends. And it all just goes to shit. And it's not even his fault either. Yeah, okay. So, alright. Alright, so I am now, I'm now going to believe what happened is they did, when nobody was looking, they got, they went and got fucking Evan, you know, they... Evan slash Vexen or whatever and and to mix or whatever not to mix uh Zexian or whatever there's so many fucking names god damn it and I'm gonna assume at some point early on Ventanita shows up in the realm of darkness goes like hey what's up what's up uh what's up Aqua they fight or something or maybe Ansem's there with them or Terra's there with them and he kind of coaxes her into following him into the land of departure which he then tries to fight to protect Vin, loses, and then gets turned into a Xehanort. That's what I assume is going to happen. Now that I said all that, and the possibility of parallel dimensions dimensions are out of the fucking way. Thank, thank, thank fucking God. I like it's inevitable. We're gonna see more time travel, but I just really don't want to see it at all because the story is already confusing as shit. Fucking, god damn it! Huh? Holy shit! Holy fucking shit! All right, so that is it for this Kingdom Hearts quote unquote Big Hero 6 extended trailer. Fucking, it barely showed Big Hero 6. But, uh, man. By the way, Square Enix, fix that fucking music. It sounds too much like Tron. God damn it. But, anyways, that's it. I am fresh out of ideas. I have nothing else crazy to talk about. I probably, I'm gonna record this. I'm gonna record this what am i saying i'm gonna edit this and i'm probably gonna sound like a fucking crazy person but um yeah that's it i'm i just want to fucking my head hurts i'm gonna take a break um <laughs> so you know like comment subscribe in the comment section below tell me what you're excited about i don't know tell me tell me tell me if you're really really happy about that frozen world because i know i'm not but um yeah you know in the description below you can follow me on twitter where i will scream into the void and then yeah that's basically it so <laughs> as always i want to thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in the next video i'm a chef, chef too.